when the inevitable day comes and the old car's had it, what's the next step? Outside Paris, it's burn the upholstery and sell the bodies for scrap metal. What a thought that they all come to this. The trouble with old bodies is that they take up too much room. Car bodies, we mean. So they had to be squashed up a bit. A job for a giant machine, which has such pressing ways, nothing can resist it. One touch, and it could make a new Rolls look just the same as a jalopy. To achieve this result would take a hundred lady drivers ten weeks. It looks as though the tipsy driver menace were licked at last. However many he has for the road, there's now a way to scotch him. The alcoholomat reacts to powerful breath more quickly even than a wife. Then it simply won't let him drive. Now this is the last straw. It's coming to something when even the car nags at you. Sheer insult. Had to go and have a drink. Being tried out in the States is a car known so far as the XNR, which shows that it's an experimental affair, not for sale, but an indication, maybe, of what tomorrow's car may be like. The passenger sits a shade lower than the driver to keep her clear of the wind. Although the engine and chassis are American, the body was built in Italy. Interesting. Perhaps we shall see it over here sometime. 